This is Dr. Brady Hurst. I've been getting a lot of questions lately on hypothyroidism. So today I want to talk about hypothyroidism and its relationship with the intestinal system. Your thyroid gland is a gland that regulates metabolism, meaning that uh, think of a, uh, a conductor in a train and he's got to throw out a lot of coal to, to uh, burn for fuel. Well, someone with hypothyroidism is like switching out the big, strong conductor with the teenage kid who, who doesn't have a lot of uh, muscle mass, and so he, he, can't put, he can't throw a lot of coal into the fire. So, um, so therefore, there's less energy to be produced, and the functions of the entire train start to diminish. The speed goes down. Parts start to wear out. Um, you know it. So, in general, that's what happens in hypothyroidism. Now, the relationship between hypothyroidism and the gut is that once the thyroid releases uh, its hormones, it floats around and it connects to these little gates on each one of our cells and says, um, you know, you need to step, you need to step up your energy production or you need to slow down your energy production or whatnot. The thing is, is that these little gates the uh, the gatekeeper is things like vitamin A and vitamin D. Those are the two big ones, big gatekeepers. So vitamin A and vitamin D need to be uh, need to be there to open up the gate to say, all right, hey, listen, you know, throw some more coal on the fire. You know, let's heat let's heat this thing up. So what we see is that um, it's not just vitamin A you now. It's not just vitamin D, it's a form of it. you got to remember, there's different forms of different vitamins. So, with, especially with vitamin A, vitamin A, in order for it to be effective, it needs to be converted into what's called retinoic acid. And, ret and vitamin A is converted into retinoic acid by the, uh, by the intestinal lining there's enzymes in there that convert it. So, if someone is not, uh, gut function is not up to optimal, then you're, then the conversion of this vitamin A to retinoic acid isn't going to happen, or it happens in very small amounts, and that affects the way thyroid hormones act on the cells, creating a, a, a hypothyroidism. The thing is, is that we don't have a lot of pain fire or pain nerves in the intestinal tract. So the thing is is that the majority of intestinal problems are gone undetected. You don't feel it. Functional tests have to be done. You can't rely off the symptoms here. So what we do in our office is that we run a DNA stool panel. So we actually test for um, for different bacteria in the gut and the ratios of those bacteria and how those bacteria affect uh, the the lining of the gut. And so we can get an idea and say, okay, if you have a healthy gut or an unhealthy gut. And from there we can say, okay, well, this is part of your plan to help restore function to this state of disease or whatever dysfunction you're in called hypothyroidism. So that's the, um, that's the connection between the gut uh, and the thyroid. So having a, having a healthy gut will help uh, it builds up the, um, uh, you know, the, the guy, the conductor, gives more muscle so he can throw tons and tons and tons of more uh, coal on there, helping balance out and making your system run correctly. I'm Dr. Brady Hurst, and I run a functional medicine clinic here in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, and this is the, the first part to several uh, parts we're going to do on hypothyroidism because it's, um, again, when working with function, it's how all the systems interact with each other. So this is taking a very, uh, very wide um, look at it instead of just narrow. All right, so um, I will. Uh, I look forward to uh, to your comments. Please leave them on uh, on this blog. Um, keep them uh, pretty simple. We uh, we tend to get a lot of questions, especially email questions. Um, so uh, we will try to address them as uh, as best we can. All right, this is Dr. Brady, and uh, we'll see you next time.